Tu vas me voir. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça Bah quoi, c'est un bandana Non, c'est pas un bandana, ça, c'est un voile. Moi, j'appelle ça un voile. Ah, eh, attendez, attendez. Il y en a, vous les laissez rentrer à moitié déshabillés et elle, vous les bloquez parce qu'elle porte le voile. Oh, Karim, je crois que je t'ai rien demandé. Tu vas en cours, s'il te plaît Non, mais soyez cohérents, s'il vous plaît. Il y a juste deux traitements différents. Là. Non, c'est des règles qui s'appliquent à tout le monde et de façon équitable. Équitable Mais il n'y a, a que les filles voilées qui ne peuvent pas aller en cours. Je veux rien entendre de plus. Vous savez ce que c'est ça C'est du racisme. Du racisme. And that was a clip from the film Miriam, which tells the story of a French teenager who feels compelled to start wearing a veil in high school despite her secular Muslim background, but due to French law, she must decide between her new convictions or getting expelled from school. Here to discuss the film is Saudi filmmaker Faiza Amba. Welcome, Faiza. So nice to have you here. It's great to be here, Tanya. I like the way you sort of turn the story around. You play with our expectations, which we even see in the opening sequence. We expect her to have been we hear this is a story or of, of a girl who wears a veil and is kicked out of school or threatened with being kicked out of school, and we think she must come from a very conservative Muslim family, but that's not the case. Why did you choose to tell the story in this way? Um, I mean, one of the main reasons I made this film was because I wanted to put a human face to Muslims in general and to girls who wear the hijab in particular. Mm -hmm. And I think that in the West, people view girls who wear the hijab as a monolith. And I, I believe from, you know, from experience that there's many, there are many stories behind the, the, the veil as there are people who wear it. Right. Well, it's almost like watching a coming-of-age film. This is a girl who is trying to figure out her identity, right? She's trying, as any teenager goes through that stage, who am I? What is my background? Who do I want to be? Who do I want to show the world that I am? And she, yet, because of where she goes to school, she's forced to make a very stark choice. The laws in France are controversial over this, and your film does a very nice job of not coming down on one side or the other. But as a filmmaker, how do you feel? Well, I, I mean, um, I'm from Saudi Arabia, so uh, we have to wear the veil. It's a law in Saudi Arabia to wear the veil. And I was in France when they, when they put the law that where you were, you know, not allowed to wear it. So I, you know, in a strange way, I was able to identify with these women who were forced who were not able to dress the way they wanted. Right. So that, that's that's how I look at it. You look at it as it's a rule one way or the other. Somebody is trying to tell you how to dress. And I also think it's very important. I mean, uh, I'm very interested in, in Muslim immigrants in the West. How are they accepted? How do you become part and parcel of the country? Do you need to, you know, change your, your name, your language, the way you dress to become French? Right. Or American or Australian? I mean, right. those are the things that I find very interesting. Now, when Miriam is sent to detention for wearing the veil, she's in a room with other girls who have the veil. She has chosen to wear it, but some of the other girls in the detention hall say, my father will kill me if I don't wear the veil, exactly. correct? So neither one of those scenarios is great. Like, you want the girl to feel like she has the freedom to choose one way or the other, correct? Right. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't, I mean, um, I, I find it oppressive if you force people to wear the veil, and I find it equally oppressive to force them to take it off. Right. And, um, like, I don't pretend that every woman who wears the veil is doing it because she wants to. I know that there are many countries uh, where, you, where, you, where you're sort of obliged to. Right. Well, it's a fantastic film, and your lead actress is just luminous. Where did you find her? Uh, we cast for, for three months, and, uh, you know, she, uh, when I was watching the clips, I was in Saudi Arabia, and my casting agent was in France, and she sent me the clips of all the actresses, and uh, they were auditioning in that part where she talks about why she wears the veil, and she brought tears to my eyes. I mean, this was, oh. <laughs> you know, a screenplay that I had written, and, and then when I saw the audition tape, she brought tears to my eyes. I said, that's her. Is she a professional actress? Yes. Yeah, I said, that's the one. She's going to be a big star. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You, and the film is now available on iTunes. Yes, is that it is. Is correct? Reza, thank you so much for that. Thank you.